sua. Why are you competitive? Wayne Eng, co-organizer of the Emerald Ball Dance Board Championships. Why are you competitive? Um, can, you, can you give me a full answer? Yes. So like, <laughs> true, true. Very true. He is very competitive. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm very competitive. Okay. What's keep me grounded every day, I believe, is really, is my family. It's, um... When we get together, it brings me back to what life is all about. My most difficult year running the Emerald Ball was um, during the Ronnie King riot. <laughs> check into the hotel on Tuesday. We turn on the TV, I'm not sure if it was on a Wednesday, and we saw the news. And I thought, okay, it's just a small riot. Then as I watched the news, it got bigger and bigger. And then I remember my friend Terry Leon say, Wayne, are you watching the TV? Who was our partner. And at that time, if I recall, Terry and Donna was on a bus in Beverly Hills with 30 VIP having dinner. And Terry said, um, can you call the bus? We're locked up here. Fires on every corner. We're at Pico and La Brea. Everywhere you look, there are fires. There are people standing here needing help, and they can't even get help. Right here, trash the entire place. They ripped open, Andy, can you zoom in there, the, those money quick ATM machines? The National Guard is now deploying just south of the Coliseum. And, and in some cases, they turned around and threw the bottles at cars who were passing by. And then they went, they crossed the street and, and uh, looted a gas station and, a, and a sort of anti-goggling across the street in an auto parts repair store, which they set on fire. And at that time, my wife was pregnant with my first child, Tyler. So I called the bus, and I remember. I, and they say, well, the bus driver is not there. He because you guys are having lunch. I used the F word and say, I need him there right now. Get in front of the restaurant. We need to bring them back to the hotel. And I remember it took him an hour or so to get back. They loaded the bus. They put the ladies on the inside and the men were on the outside by the window. Now keep in mind, Beverly Hills, Inglewood, it's not that far away. And to get to the freeway, they have to drive through some surface street, yeah. which was not the safest. It took them, I believe, two and a half hours to get back to the hotel. Usually, it's a 20-minute drive. So that was the beginning. And then I had studios calling me, hey, um, are we able to come? I say, no problem. You're watching the news. You know, they blow everything up. It's the same thing. They're showing you the same spot. So don't worry about it. And actually, everybody show up except one studio. It was from Florida because the flight couldn't take off because they couldn't land. So when they were landing, you can see the whole city in up in smoke. And then the local people who came, I will never forget Victor Ferraz. I say, Wayne. I drove off the freeway, and they were throwing rocks at my car. And I said, don't worry about it, Victor, you're here. Just stay. <laughs> and we ran the comp. We did really lose entries. And I remember um, by Friday, Saturday night, we were still sold out because we pre sell the tickets in those times. And um, people were calling and saying, Wayne, are you still running the comp? Of course I am. And I remember the mayor put the curfew on where you couldn't go out that, during the nighttime. And we were the only hotel that was open on Century Boulevard. And I remember the general manager, you know, we were the only business in town. So it was the most difficult, but I tell you what, we had a blast afterwards, now that I'm looking back at it. This is my 30th 
anniversary in Rabat. I think it's a celebration of what Donna and of course Terry Leo, who were my partner in the early years, of how we grew the competition from year one all the way to the 30th. And it means a lot. It's a celebration. It's just not the dancing to have my friends at the competition to be with me. Um, I want to have just one big party from Monday all the way to Sunday. And um, I don't know when I will ever have a chance to celebrate this big again. It's a big 30.